afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to the Stock Swoosh Show Market Review of the QQQs. And here we have the market, and it's rallying. Is anyone surprised? You shouldn't be. <laughs> and I did say there was a small, small chance that I wouldn't put it past the market to 100% retrace the red bar from here and go over the high. I have this bar back here, which was on the 6th, was 104.17, and it looks like we're basically about to do it. And we are doing it. So this morning when I get up, first of all, let's just go back. Let's pretend today didn't happen yet. So I did see the gap down in the morning yesterday, and I said, this is going to hold. It's not going to go anywhere. We did break the low. We didn't go anywhere. Again, support and resistance are areas. So here was the open. Low was 102.67, came down here, broke it within 10 pennies, 12 pennies, and bounced at 10.45. The market held. This has no meaning whatsoever and is strong. And actually, I did say yesterday in the room, this isn't a gap you could buy today, and you can't short this gap either because it's not bearish, but we did gap down. And I said, you know, even though we gapped down yesterday, actually, this is very, very strong. It's strong even the way that we acted yesterday, even though you couldn't really buy the gap down yesterday. And so that's what happened. But then I saw the way we closed. And then I looked at the market and I looked at the afternoon and I was very particular. Wait, here, there's a close. And I just wanted to double, triple check myself because I'm doing these videos and I'm making sure that I'm seeing everything clearly for myself. And then for the people that follow me too, to just double check myself. Now, we did close yesterday then in the QQQs, with, not with red, but we, we lost the gain that we made on the day. The gain we made on the day here came up over the high around 1230. Yeah. And then we closed down here. So we didn't really go anywhere yesterday. And I just double, triple checked myself and I said, you know what? It doesn't matter. I mean, we still basically held and we just really didn't go anywhere. So it was still strong in the hold. And I just double checked it again to make sure this wasn't anything that was going to uh, mean bearishness. When I woke up this morning, let's look at this because this is what I was seeing this morning actually. I said, oh, my Lanta. That was the first thing I thought of when I saw the market this morning. I thought, oh, my Lanta. And the reason I said that was because I realized how strong the market was. The market is so, so strong. I, that The first thing that came to my mind, the immediate thing, again, you know, instinct, when I see something, it just, it just is never wrong. Immediately, the first thing that came to my mind, whew, like that, I said, oh, my Lanta. This market is so strong. And I knew no matter what that we would close strong today. And it's 12.15 and we're strong now. We're almost over the high from two days ago. And, you know, we're setting up to make a new high this week, actually, in the market. And even if we don't, does it matter? No, it doesn't because the market will make a new high this month, which I predicted accurately February would be a very bullish month and we'll make a new high this month. And actually, today is only Tuesday. So, I mean, seriously, we're $2.25 away from the high in the queues or the previous high. Anyways, let's get rid of this here and look at today. You you could have gone on the market today. I mean, this is beautiful. And again, this gap here this morning was bullish. And it didn't hold immediately to buy immediately unless you put the stop at the right place with a cushion. But you could have waited and been patient. And the market's along. The market is along. I know there are people that are saying the market was in a downtrend. It never was. The market held the minimal level of support. The market has always been strong. There were 17 red bars in here in the last two months. It didn't matter. The market was still strong. You have to read the numbers, the mathematical numbers of the price, not just the colorations of the bar and not just the pivots. I've read this market so well, so well. I knew we would do this, and we're doing it this month, and we're going to just keep going here now. I mean, there's really, we will close strong today. And I didn't know if we closed with a tail today in a red body or a tail today in a green body. But I knew we'd close strong today. Even if we had a red body today with a tail, we'd still that'd be a strong close. And we are going to close today with a green body. And the market is very, very strong. And the initial swing trade I called in this back months ago last year is still in play. And there are some people that are in it. And that's the benefit of being in my swing trade letter or even my live training room because I talk about the market every day. I think actually a lot of traders are more bearish bias this market thinking it's going to come in crash or short than than analysts. 
And I actually consider myself both. I'm a trader and an analyst. I actually, I, I'm both. I'm a trader because I trade actively in the market every day, but I'm also an analyst because I'm looking and analyzing things in larger time frames, which I don't need to do to be a, a to do what I do because I day trade. Okay, I don't need to do that to day trade, but actually, and and this is true. It's one of the reasons why I am a very good trader is because I am analyzing things on a larger time frame, which is the daily chart. My entries are in the one minute chart as a day trader. And that's how I'm getting the good risk to reward. But my I'm analyzing things in a broad picture, which helps to give me the correct thing to do here specifically with the market direction I've been calling to know that even though the market had intraday short-term downward moves, there was nothing really bearish in this market that anyone should have been short the market. I think there's a lot of traders that are short this market that are wanting to get some volatility to the downside here that isn't going to follow through. We are now 80% above over that here with today and we'll be into the close. I mean, and, and, and I think we really people kill their shorts. I don't think people are going to kill their shorts until up over here. 106. I, I don't even think people are going to kill their, people, even though this is happening, and this sounds crazy, but even though this is happening, people still are not going to give up on the short side. Why? Because we're, we're still holding here this lower high. But that is not the right way to read the trend in something. People think that. People teach that. It's incorrect. But, I, you know, people are still going to have a short bias in this market even today. And that makes no sense. It's never made any sense. And I kept double, triple checking myself to look at the information. Today is just more confirmation the market's higher. And we'll make a new high this month. It could even happen this week. We're so close. And I don't know where we close today. But I think the shorts don't pop out of here, the people that are short right now for the temporary time frame until after 106-ish. And... You know, there's lots of targets after this. But this is a nice swing trade call that I made that is holding it intact. And I'm not going to say with 100% conviction, but I, I, this could be the low of the market for the whole year. I, I, I'm not saying with 100% conviction. I, I really just, just noticed this right now here. I, I have to look at this a little bit more here, but this, this, might, this might be the low of the market and the QQ is for the entire year. <laughs> Wow. It's beautiful. And the market's perfect. So the first thing I said this morning when I started talking in Rome is this market is perfect. To me, it's perfect because I know what to read. To other people, they're confused or they're completely wrong in the bias of the market. They think it's short or in a downtrend or they think it's extended or they think it's whatever. Okay. And I'm realizing though, doing webinars and getting communications from people, there's actually more traders that have a short bias here, not necessarily analysts, although some analysts do. But I actually consider myself both. I'm an analyst and a trader. That's why I have a good read on things. And what I do is so specific. There is just no one out there that is reading charts the way that I do because I read charts based on gap analysis. There's no one out there that does what I do. No one. There are people that actually do gaps or teach gaps or look at gaps. There isn't a lot. There isn't a lot. And what most people are teaching about gaps out there or talking about gaps is actually false and correct. But the reality is that they're still not using them in the way that I am to read a trend in something. And you can read a directional bias in a stock of the market based on gaps. How do you do it? The quality of the gap based on the rating system that I created and invented myself which is the 26 point rating system. And that's how I knew in here that none of the bearish gaps would have follow through to break the market and that none of them did break the market and that the market's holding. So we'll have to see where we close here tonight. I mean, you know, just let the market keep rallying. If you didn't go long this year around lunch, which is, you know, I don't really like to trade around lunch. And I don't like to trade around the afternoon, period, unless something swooshes. If something swooshes, you could trade all day long. Just trade that sucker into the close. But, you know, nothing swooshed today. This was uh, uh, really, as soon as I saw it, as soon as I saw it in the morning, I said, oh, my Lanta, because I knew, I knew this was an amazing sign of strength in the market today. And I knew we closed bullish and we are.
and I did said there's a small, small chance. I wouldn't put it past the realm of possibility for the market to get over the high from the last two days, and it did. And it is. It's, it's here. It's, this is doing it. So beautiful call by the stock swoosh. Again, what I do is very unique. It's very unique. Why? I'm reading institutional positioning in money, which money is what moves the market. Institutions move the market. And it's the only way you can actually be consistently profitable if you're trading on the side of institutions. you got to know when they're exiting something. You have to know when they're entering something. You have to know how to take trades based on that and in the right direction. It's about price, time, and direction. And that's how you make money as a day trader or any kind of trader, actually, quite frankly. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. If you are interested in the next Golden Gap class, it is February 20th and 21st. It is the last class that you can sign up and take the course for $2,999. The price of the class is increasing as of March 1st. I will not be making exceptions for anyone. So even if you cannot do the class in February, if you sign up and pay prior to March 1st, then you can do the class whenever you want in the future because I allow free retakes. So you can register for it prior to the deadline of the price increase. And for people that have been following me for a while, I guess you've got to decide if you really want to do this or not. This is an amazing way to trade that I know how to do. It, again, is very unique and very specific, and it works. Or I wouldn't be able to call something so challenging like this market so well, so, so consistently. Great call here by the stock switch and the QQQs. Have a great day, everyone. If I have time, I'll do a video on the SPY tonight after we see how we close in the market. And if you're interested in more information, email me at melissa at thestockswitch.com.